All right, on January 1, 2013, Jamaica began to phase out hydrochlorofluorocarbon. Phase, the phase out is being facilitated through the HCFC phase out management plan and the United Nations Development Program. The project is basically to reduce ozone depleting substances. And here to talk to us about this this morning, our project manager, Anthony Nepper, Nicole Walker, and Noel Brown, a national consultant, HPMP implementation project. Gentlemen, lady, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Morning, How are you? Morning, morning. Uh, um, let's first paint a proper perspective for the viewers out there as to exactly what we're talking about when we talk about the ozone layer. Um, for those of us, it, 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 it actually protects the earth from the ultraviolet rays sent down by um, the sun. But um, from your trained position um, to the layman there, what exactly it is that we are talking about? Well, the ozone layer is in the atmosphere. It surrounds the earth and it acts as the earth's umbrella. So it protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. So Ozone depleting substances, as the name suggests, de actually deplete the layer, and that is what the project is geared towards reducing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, of course, naturally a critical exercise. Um, where are we in terms of um, how advanced this situation is, and how much in danger are we of um, having this r rather potentially catastrophic um, e event realized? Well. Because of the project and what we have achieved to date, we're actually reducing the impact of the depletion of the ozone layer. So we're not, the situation is not as dire as it was several years ago. So the, actually the layer is, is being repaired as, as we speak. speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get Noel in. I, I, as, as, a, as a child growing up, um, you always hear you mustn't do things to affect this ozone layer. It's, it's, it's something that is a concept, but like Ron was saying, not a, not a lot of us understand it as well as probably we should. W what are the dangers if we don't protect this ozone layer? What are the, the, the effects if, if, we don't if protect, we are not careful? If we don't protect the ozone layer, we have things like increased eye cataracts, skin cancers, and, and just um, the destruction of the basic life force on Earth that sustains us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we said, this could be catastrophic, and it is actually um, depleted by human actions. What kind of human actions? What, what, what basically happens? What is it that we do? Well, um, one other thing that we do is that we're talking about these hydrocarbon chemicals that we use in our air conditioned unit and our refrigerators. refrigerators. And these chemicals, if they are released into the atmosphere, would actually destroy the ozone layer. There are some stable chemicals. They contain halogens, chlorines, fluorines, and these chlorines, fluorines actually they, um, destroy the ozone. You say if, if, if some of these gases that we use, you yes. say, in the um, air condition, how, yes. how, 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 I don't understand. How, how, how is it that that, that, that that would escape? Well, uh, during, escape servicing, during servicing, mm. if the technicians are not careful, they could release it into the atmosphere. We also have um, halons, which are uh, fire um, retardant chemicals and these halons are also released if there is a fire and, and your fire protection system release these chemicals into the atmosphere. Um, a few years ago, some of the propellants that are used in deodorants and, and things like that, they are also chemicals that can destroy the ozone. Mm. When you say destroy it, how long would it have to take? Be because at Earth tends to replenish itself. Um, and not that easily destroyed by a man. How, how long would it take of unbroken attention well, for, for that to happen? One other thing um, I could tell you, from statistics, one, um, one of these, let's say, um, chlorofluorocarbon molecule can destroy 100,000 ozone molecules. And in, in, in 87, when the treaty was, was first introduced, um, they were saying that the ozone layer had a large hole in the, the northern hemisphere. Mm. And, and because of the treaty, we are hopeful that the ozone layer will repair itself. Let's say by 2050, we are hoping that things will get back to normal if the treaty is implemented successfully throughout the world. Mm. Mm. Do you find that uh, Jamaicans are 
aware of this or people in general and you know the average person you know would would would, would care much about this um once we bring it down to the level of the consumer we find that persons become interested once we alert them to the fact that these ozone depleting substances are within your homes in the in your refrigerator some of them are sometimes in your air conditioning units in your homes um, sometimes in your motor vehicles once we bring it to their level and they can understand and appreciate then they are they are they become aware and they are interested and they want to actually assist us in phasing out in the mm. best way that we can I, I, w I want to ask you this a lot of the substance a lot of the the substances that are we are now understanding are ozone depleting substances are actually things that as a society wants more and more additional comfort they will use air condition things in a fridge and so yes. on. Mm -hmm. how do you convince the average man to go easy or give up on these comforts of life because it might affect some ozone layer which is a intangible invisible thing in his own eyes how difficult a struggle is that um well um Basically, we find that the phase-out program is going to be market-driven in the sense that the companies, not in Jamaica because we don't produce ozone-depleting substances, they are now producing alternatives to ozone-depleting substances which are more ozone-friendly. Mm. So the Jamaican market um, over the years will basically not have a choice but to use these alternatives as they are now more available than the actual ozone-depleting substances. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to be talking a lot more about this when we um, come back. Um, Nicole Walker and Noel Brown are special guests this morning and we're looking at ozone-depleting substances more when we come back after this break. <coughs> how, how far up is... All right, Nicole Walker, Projects Manager at NEPA, and Noel Brown, National Consultant, HPMP Implementation Project, our special guest this morning, and we're looking at uh, ozone layer, the depleting substances. Um, all right, let's, let's, let, let's talk about this project that, that you're undertaking and, and, and uh, how critical this is. Well, the HPMP project was launched, in, was launched last year. It's critical to ensure that Jamaica meets the targets under the Montreal Protocol to, to phase out HCFCs. So we have several activities, such as our public awareness activity, um, training of technicians to ensure that they are aware of the dangers of HCFCs and that they look to use uh, alternatives to HCFCs. So it's, it's a very important program. Just remind us, of, uh, I'm sure somebody's listening now is, is, is probably asking, what exactly is HCFC? Absolutely, I was going to that yeah. because the marketing thrust has to take on this rather simplistic approach, right? right and not right. use because these. It's a very yeah, yes, and right. don't, don't, don't use these, 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 these words that, words that would, yes. you know, gravitate. But HCFCs acronym means hydrochlorofluorocarbons. Yeah. And the importers and the retailers of HCFCs would be familiar with the term. And they are refrigerants. They're used as the cool. Who you say would be familiar with the term? The importers, importers, the importers of HCFCs, yeah. retailers of HCFCs. Okay. But what familiar. about the consumers? Wouldn't this obfuscate, if you will, them these 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 gargantuan words, these big <laughs> words? In other words, I don't. Uh, let us say I want to yes. contribute. I don't want to contribute to the demise of the ozone. Yes. And I don't want to buy any hydrochlorofluoro. What's the word? Hydrofluorocarbon. Yes. Yeah. How, how? What exactly do I? How exactly do I go about knowing what exactly I should Well, you, you, the average consumer, wouldn't be going out to buy HCFCs. You would, you would actually contract a technician, for instance, to service your refrigerator. Right. So what we would encourage you to do is to ask your technician to tell you what exactly is in the refrigerator. Is it HCFCs? Is it an alternative which is climate friendly and ozone friendly? Mm -hmm. If it's HCFCs, ask your technician, can I use... Can you change this refrigerator so that I can use an alternative? And if the technician does decide for technician, yeah, yeah. So line. you're at his mercy then, um, because you don't well, know what the age is. Normally, there's a label. Right. There's a label on the refrigerator yes. which will tell you what actually is inside of it. So you can you can look to see what the label says, and you can call Nepal oh. and just to verify um, if it's an ozone depleting substance or if it's not. How big a project is this in terms of? Um, cost and the, 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 the value and you know, uh, where do you get contribution from and stuff? And well, 
the project is being funded by the Multilateral Fund fund for the implementation of the Montreal Protocol and it's been undertaken in tranches. So a pro for this phase of the project, it's about 700,000 US dollars, um, which we have to use to carry out the activities mm. for this first phase. Uh, oh. and, and, and how long will this first phase be? How long is it? Um, we started last year and we go up to the end of December 2014. Mm. 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 Okay, okay. Mm. 2014, I started last year, so that's what? Two, about two years? About two years. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. is, 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 do you get the impression that the government is serious about this? Serious about getting this project on the way? Yes, definitely. We do have buy in from government, from that sector of society. Yes. My understanding is that this phase reduction is expected to continue until 2040. Right. Yes. Um, that's a long time um, from, mm -hmm. from now. Why, why such a long time? One of the reasons is that um, we have a lot of equipment now that are using these um, <coughs> HCSC um, gases and some of these are very expensive equipment. So to phase out um, immediately would be some financial burden to the, the, the individual that own these equipment. So over a period of, of years, they could um, look at retrofitting the equipment or think about um, buying new equipment mm -hmm. over a period. Are, are there going to be any, I know we're supposed to be running out soon, but are there going to be any penalties <coughs> down the road for people who don't, don't, adhere, to don't, the, don't yes. adhere to these rules? Um, we're looking into that. It has not actually been established in law as yet. But mm. for now, we're using moral persuasion and we have the importers of HCFCs on board with us. So we are relying on them okay. to ensure that we meet our targets. And if they don't comply? Well, we don't have any sanctions <laughs> in place just yet. Okay. Mm, mm. All right. Another, All right, you thing, want, yeah. another thing before you close is that the, the Customs Department right. also works um, with us. are on board right. on the project. Mm. So they're kind of like the gatekeepers. Right. The who? The Customs Gate Department. Customs, right. yeah. customs. You want to just give final words to the viewers there? Um, encourage them to use HFCFC. H it's F H H Who's on the fleet? Who's on the fleet? I suppose that makes it easy. HFCs. Well, Persons are now aware of the project. We have an ongoing public awareness program, and we just encourage persons to ask their technicians if their refrigerator is being serviced, if their AC unit is being serviced, what is being used, and if it's an ozone depleting substance, <coughs> can it be changed to an, an alternative? Yeah. Um, Nicole Walker, Projects Manager at NEPA, I want to thank you so very much. And Noel Brown, a national consultant at HPMP Implementation Project. Thank you so very much You're for joining right. us and sharing such critical information. Um, this morning. All right, coming up in our show later on, we're going to be meeting the contestants in the Miss Black History Month competition. They are here and also here from um, Lawrence. He is the um, pageant chairman. Also, Gibson Relays is set for this uh, weekend. Going to be telling you some about that. And up next, it's a man's world, and we're going to be talking about homosexuality. Gay rights or human rights? Are gays subjected to harsh treatment? Are their fundamental human rights violated? Our special guest this morning is Dr. Dayton Campbell, Member of Parliament, and he'll weigh in on the topic with us. But first, we've got the news with Marjorie Boyle.